What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this new episode of Restorations with Vic. What we're gonna be working on today is a pair of off-white Air Max 90s. I'm super excited to work on these shoes just because I've never done a custom on these, but at the same time, I'm pretty nervous because it is an off-white, it's an expensive shoe, and there's a ton of materials I'm working with. Before we get started on this custom, I do wanna give a quick shout out to StockX for hooking us up with these shoes. If you guys haven't heard of StockX, they're the best way to buy authentic sneakers, streetwear, and much more. Download the app, check them out, StockX. So for this custom, Custom, it's of course gonna be a Halloween custom and it's not gonna be just any Halloween custom it's inspired by one of the greatest of all time my favorite musician Michael Jackson this shoe is gonna be inspired for one of my favorite songs of all time including the video Thriller so we're gonna be implementing elements from Michael Jackson's jacket that he wore in the video um, here's an image of him wearing it it's a sick ass jacket you have red you have black but we're also gonna be tying in elements from Michael Jackson with Off-White. For example, on this side over here, we're gonna wipe off what it says and we're gonna implement something more Michael Jackson related. Um, I'll show you guys at the end of the video when I actually do it. I don't wanna give away too much just yet, but we're gonna be doing a lot to this shoe. So with that being said, guys, we have a ton of work ahead of us, so let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is start off by trying to remove the text off this side of the shoe. I've never done it before, so I don't know how easy it's gonna wipe off. I don't even know if it's gonna wipe off, but it's worth a try. We're gonna be using acetone, cotton swabs, and, and cotton balls to do so. It wipes off pretty, pretty easily. So with the acetone and cotton swabs on the leather, it wiped off super easy. Um, on the leather though, I think the leather is really delicate. I tried using acetone at first. Um, it did do the work, but I was kind of afraid that it was kind of rough enough the material. So I moved on to using rubbing alcohol pads. It takes a little bit more work, but it's a lot safer to use. So most of the fun came off. Um, it came off overall pretty good on the leather. Same thing with the swoosh. The only area that I had a hard time with was um, the suede text. I did try using acetone very carefully with the cotton swab. Uh, it did very little. I didn't want to scrub too hard where it would damage the suede. Next step, a lot of tape. We're gonna be taping off the soles and some areas in the uppers so we can start painting. All right guys, so we got the shoe fully taped up. Um, took a little while, I wanted to make sure everything's fully sealed. So now, it's time to lay down some paint. The color I'm laying down, of course, is red, but I mixed it with fire red and a little bit of black to darken up the color. It's airbrush ready, so let's go ahead and spray. All right guys, check it out. So far, so good. The red looks a lot better than I imagined. It's a nice, rich, powerful red. Exactly what I was going for, but it just looks a lot better now that I laid it down on the shoe. I was really careful airbrushing the shoe. So what I would do is I started on the inside, um, I sprayed it. Instead of using the heat gun, I let it air dry. The reason why I didn't use a heat gun on a tongue or a sock liner was because of the spongy edges. Um, and like how it's fraying. If I put too much heat, it might get damaged, it might um, shrivel up. So now we're gonna go ahead, remove the tape, and move on to the next step, which I think is laying down the black, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to do a lot of touch-ups all over the black strips. That's what I'm happy about. I'm super glad there's no paint that leaked onto the tag super crisp all right guys so we have the tape off looks pretty sick as is obviously we're not done the next step we're going to move on to is the toe box um, we got to be very careful and very precise with this tape job i do not want nothing no black on this red so i'm going to take my time make sure this tape job is 100 perfect so patience is key to making this tape job perfect Bye. 
All right, guys, so we got the black fully laid down. Came out super dope, nice and crisp, no overspray, no black where it shouldn't be. Check that out. Pretty much what I'm gonna do for this toe box area up here and both swatches on both sides. I'm gonna go in with a small angular brush. Pretty much what I'm gonna do, this is gonna take hours. As you can see right here, I kind of started doing the stitching already. You just got to dip a little black paint and just kind of go over, go over every single stitching and hope for the best. Let's do it. All right, guys. So I'm about two hours in. As you can see, I took off the apron, took off the shirt. Um, it's actually going a lot faster as you go. So I got this piece done, half of this piece done. I'm starting the swoosh, I'm all over the place. Um, the swoosh is a little bit easier to do than, than the rest of it just because there's a technique to it. Since the string isn't really touching the leather or the swoosh, you kind of just go over it. You still want to be careful. You still want to take your time. It's not much of a, uh, a shortcut, but it kind of helps. But it's coming together. It's coming out dope. This took me a long time. It took me a good four to five hours. Check it out, guys. Check out the stitching. Look how clean and crisp that came out. Same thing with the swishes on the outside and inside. I was just there with a tiny detail paintbrush, just trying to make sure every line was perfect, which I think I did a pretty good job. Next step we're gonna move on to is this back piece right here. Under the suede patch, next to this suede panel, um, right in between, we're gonna paint it black with a paintbrush using Angela's paint. Is Johnny here? Quinn. Oh. All right guys, so we got the black laid down on the back. Did some touch-ups on the black strips and I also went ahead and painted this black square. Um, it was really easy, free-handed it, heat gun, paintbrush, pretty simple. Next thing we're gonna move on to is, you know, some of the tricky stuff, the stencils. One of them is the Thriller that's gonna go in the back. And the second one is gonna be the off-white Michael Jackson MTV video style. This part is gonna go on the inside of the shoe. It's inspired from MTV. You know, when the Thriller song would go up on the bottom corner, it would have exactly what it says right here, pretty much. So, let's do it. Bad, huh? Pretty good. Thriller. All right, guys, so we got both stencils laid down, came out better than I expected. Same thing with the throttle on the back, super dope. Now the last thing we gotta do to wrap up this custom are the soles. The soles are freaking dope as is. The shoe looks pretty much done, but it just doesn't say thriller to me. So we're gonna dye them with red dye. We had the shoe fully taped up, soles as well. We're gonna be using some FBCC red sole dye and angler brush to apply it.
soles are good to go, guys. Took a little while, but it came out perfect. Next step we're gonna do, guys, is the most important step of this whole custom. I did not just spend two days on this shoe, not to spray with water and stain repellent. You're gonna wanna apply three even coats all around. Let it dry in between coats for an hour. Once it's set in, you could go in, you could wear them, um, spill anything, whatever, the custom will hold up perfectly. So now let's go outside and spray this water and stain repellent because this stuff stinks. <laughs> All right guys, finally, freaking done. Took two freaking days, but the results I'm super happy with. Overall, way better than I expected, way, way better. Um, obviously you can tell I'm pretty hyped. I'm hyped because I'm done, and I'm hyped because it came out super dope. By the way, shout out to StockX. Thank you guys so much. This custom would have not been possible without you guys. Check them out, download the app, StockX. So, for this custom guys, Obviously, it was a thriller custom, but I added a lot of details to incorporate, you know, his jacket and the whole video. For one, we'll start with the thriller stencil. I saw the patch on the back, and right away, I knew this was the place for it. One of my favorite parts, which is the inside. This was my nightmare. I was just afraid there was going to be so much leakage. You can't really touch up this the, the stencil. Um, it would be too obvious. Thankfully, no touches was needed. Another detail that I really like on this shoe, of course, is the shoelaces. This is something I haven't showed you guys because I laced it up off camera. But on the lace tips, I added Thriller, just like the original off-white laces where it says shoelace. I did it on both laces, Thriller. Of course, I had to throw on the off-white tag. There was a lot of work that went into it. I had to be very careful when I sprayed the red. I didn't want to damage the spongy areas. Dying the soles was another tricky part, but the hardest part by far that took me the longest was the stitching. At first, I didn't want to do it because I knew how long it was going to take, but it's an off-white custom. There's no way I was not going to do it. The details look so factory, guys. I'm really, really proud of this custom. I hope you guys liked it. Came out freaking perfect. And of course, if you guys see my custom videos, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you guys are spending hours and hours on a custom at home, spray with water and stain repellent, guys. This shoe is gonna sit on my shelf, but if it was gonna be worn, there's no way the shoe would go out there without water and stain repellent. Anything spills on it, um, my two days worth of work would be ruined. Check out our website, rejuvenator.com, to purchase your bottle. Hope you guys enjoy this video, guys. If you guys are new to our channel, I release new restoration and custom videos every single Monday. Like and subscribe. Please and thank you. This is Vic Almighty. See you guys next Monday.